Yes, we killed it, guys. This is a winner. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Jay Shane here for the first hunger hack video. I'm so excited to be doing this recipe. Y'all have no idea. Um, I know I've done hunger hacks like at the table and the meal prep vids, but this week I'm doing a very special recipe. Um, and I have time to do it right now. For those of you that aren't aware, my wife had appendix surgery yesterday, so she's sleeping. So this is the best opportunity to make this and record it for you guys. So, this recipe is not originally mine. It came from a guy named Greg Doucette. He, um, I really love this dude. Not because I agree with his, his uh, terminology and, and I agree with his ideals towards calories in versus calories out, but like, I just like his personality. And so I watch his videos because he cracks me up. And um, I was watching one of his hunger videos, his anabolic kitchen videos, and he made this cottage cheese protein pudding. And I thought to myself, hmm, how could I make this keto? So I started experimenting in my mind. Um, I never made this recipe. This recipe is brand spanking new. Um, so we're definitely going to see how it plays out. I'm super, super excited about this. I'm pulling it up right now. So. It's got cottage cheese, a keto feed shake. I chose this one. The macros will be different if you choose another. I just chose this one because it's zero carbs. Okay. It's got keto brick, gelatin, avocado oil, almond milk, and stevia. So these are all, this is all you need, okay? It's going to be crazy. Y'all ready? Let's do it. All right. So first things first is we're going to need to melt the brick down. The brick has to be a liquid for it to go into the mixture like it should. So we're gonna do about, oh well, hold on. I almost forgot to measure that. <laughs> we're gonna do one of the four and a half, so we need four and a half cups of almond milk. We're gonna do one of those four right now. We're gonna put that in there, okay? Don't use your teeth. Do as I say, not as I do. We're gonna plop that bad boy in there. We're gonna put it in this in the microwave for about 45 seconds. Normally when you're melting bricks, you wanna do like 30 second intervals. I found when it's encased in almond milk, it's much safer. All right, while that's going, we're gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients. Now, like I said, this makes three days worth of this stuff. So we're gonna do the other three and a half cups of almond milk. We're gonna do a spoonful of vanilla extract. I'm not worried about that being exact because, well, it doesn't have calories. All right, so next we're gonna do 360 grams of cottage cheese. Um, I, there are other ones that have less carbs, but I went with Good Culture. It's a great cottage cheese. It's grass-fed. Um, I really, really enjoy it. So we're gonna do 360 grams of that. All right. Uh, oh. So basically, now that I'm doing it, almost the entire container, not, not, not quite the entire container, but just about. Now here's the trick, okay? So gelatins go crazy. So I looked all over the place and I found a pretty standard measurement. One tablespoon of this stuff, okay? One tablespoon of pure gelatin powder is six grams of protein, zero carbs, zero fat. So we're gonna do three tablespoons of unflavored gelatin in this bad boy. So basically three of these packages. And then we've got 0.75 servings of this per day. So we're gonna do three, we're gonna do three, three quarter servings. And then we're gonna add a little bit of stevia to taste. I'll just do one squirt per day. If you haven't tried this Stevia brand, it is the bomb. Focus, there we go. Yeah, I like this stuff. Okay, the brick is now out. So we're gonna blitz this up, and then once this is ready, we're gonna blend the rest. Oh yeah. You wanna talk about a calorie bomb, an entire peanut butter keto brick? In almond milk? Oh, shoot. So, now we're going to put this on the blender. 
and we're gonna turn it on and as we're blending it, we're gonna slowly pour this into the mixture, okay? I decided to bring the blender over here, guys. I almost forgot, you can't forget some Redmond's real salt. says it's done, let's look. Looks done. Just to give you an idea of how thick this is, check this out. I mean, that's thick and it hasn't even cooled off. Hasn't even cooled off yet. So we're gonna put this between three individual molds we're gonna put it in the fridge, we're gonna let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow when I go to eat some of it, I'm gonna bring y'all back and we're gonna see how thick it got. If this worked, if it didn't work, um, what I think it tastes like, all that fun stuff. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, I just put um, all the ingredients up. Something I just realized is um, I did not put avocado oil in there. So I'm just gonna put that in my coffee next week. I understand like everything that's in this recipe, I had to track out day by day to hit my macros. So there's a reason all the numbers are the way they are, even though I've never made this recipe. So I have to eat this stuff regardless of whether it tastes good or not. But uh, avocado oil, I forgot to put in there. So scratch the avocado oil. I'll put the final recipe in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to put that quarter of a tablespoon or I might just pull that and put an extra table. I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, that is no longer in the recipe. I forgot to add it. So let's see how this turns out tomorrow. Plus, I don't, I don't think that that would have helped because. So basically, the reason I added the fats was not necessarily just to get a higher fat ratio in the, the, the product, but it was to help solidify and thicken the product. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, because that's my thoughts, like with the keto brick, like I liked using the keto brick regardless, but I could have went without it and used something else that had way less calories so I could use those calories elsewhere. But I know that keto brick, once it cools off, gets very hard, right? That cacao, that cacao butter. Um, and so I was thinking if I melt that, put that in there with the gelatin, with the protein powder, or the keto feed protein powder, um, that I might actually get like this, 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 thick custard pudding like consistency once it sets like I want so we'll see what happens but yeah I'll show you on the morning all right guys next morning we're in the kitchen I got the pudding here let's see how it looks whoa to be honest this looks better than I thought it was I, I wasn't sure I was gonna turn out wow I am impressed look at this Look at that. It's thick, bro. Oh, shoot. All right, you ready? Up in my feels. That is so good. Let's go. I am a genius. Dude. Ah, oh, yes. We killed it, guys. This is a winner. I was also thinking too, this would be a great base for um, for an ice cream. Let me know if you wanna see me turn this into an ice cream. I'll do it. That's so good. Here are the macros for one serving. This whole thing is one serving. It's like almost two cups of it. So macros for that. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the hunger hack. I'm about to show y'all a bunch more. I'm not even close to done yet because this boy's getting hungry. Next week, uh, uh, posing update, body weight update, all that fun stuff. I might even show y'all the supplements I'm taking. If you want to see the supplements I'm taking, put it in the comments below. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you're not. Welcome to the Keto Road. I'll see y'all later.